so we got two new watches. We got Apple Watch Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2. Here's the thing that struck me the most immediately was, and I was talking to you about this, David, mm -hmm. there's no outside visual cue that you're wearing the new Apple Watch yeah. other than one new color. Yeah, the regular Apple Watch Series 9 is now in pink. It's okay, very so there's, nice there's pink. a pink one now. Um, but yeah, they didn't do the ultra black. The ultra looks exactly the same. Exactly Titanium, the same. same coating, same look, same shell, same size, same same look. Yeah. I mean, it is a brighter display, but it, it looks the same. So like on the street, I would expect like maybe if since there's no black version, maybe a new color button, maybe something. Nothing. Nothing. Same exact look. And so they if you've seen selling one, selling the original one too. Yeah. 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 So so what's new? Internally under the hood, the biggest update is the S9 system on a chip or SIP as Apple calls it's it. It's so funny. System <laughs> they rebranded to system in processor. System I thought in it processor. was system in package, but it's system in processor. I had to make David explain this to me when we were walking to lunch yesterday. Yeah. I was like, Yeah. Did they pronounce chip just was I confused? No, they said it again. Sip. That's not sip. Okay, sip. It's the sip. Okay, yeah. yeah. Instead of sock. Yeah, SOC. <laughs> SOC. SIP. SIP. But that that like is apparently a big uh, a big performance upgrade and a big efficiency upgrade. It processes things, processes things faster, makes the watch overall faster, and that's great. Processes data from the sensors faster, which is important, which we'll get to mm -hmm. in a second. Um, and that because it's more efficient, Apple says that'll allow them to crank up the brightness of the displays even brighter. So the S9 or the Series 9 will get up to 2,000 nits, and the Ultra will get up to 3,000 nits, which makes it the brightest screen Apple has ever put in anything. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. I can't wait to use it outside. Very smart to do that in a very small package first, and then eventually mm -hmm. probably grow it up because yeah. it's going to get hot. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, well, I don't want to talk too much about the Ultra. We'll talk about brightness on Ultra later. We'll stick with S9. Um, it is interesting to me that they have this new processor. It's kind of a big deal because they almost reused the same processor over and over and over again. They kind it differently. Yeah. But it was pretty similar. This year's a pretty big upgrade. Um, I would think they would use those efficiency gains for better battery life on the regular Apple So Watch. it's funny. They've been quoting this like 18-hour battery life for like every generation of Apple Watch for years. Yeah. And then the Ultra has like the 36-hour or whatever with low power mode. Mm -hmm. But it's always the same. And it seems like because they don't incrementally improve it every year or they don't aim for some big battery bump every year, that that seems like that's fine. Yeah. According, I mean... A, they haven't improved it. They haven't changed it. So it seems like if they get efficiency gains, they'll turn them into brighter screen or yeah. something else before they turn it into more battery. But I think most people just want better battery life. I agree. It's the main reason I use the Ultra yeah. is because I don't have to think about battery as much. I get a day or two full before I have to think about charging. Yeah. But that's just me. It's yeah. also a huge watch. Yeah. So it is what it is. But yeah, battery life is the same. Um, but the one interesting thing really is... Double tap. I think it's the most interesting thing. Double tap. Double tap. Double, okay. Yeah. So double tap. Double tap is a gesture that you do with the hand that is wearing the watch, where in thin air, you simply double tap your finger and in, your thumb and index finger together, and that will select whatever you're choosing, whatever's happening on the watch. So whatever the primary button is in the app on the watch. So if you have a FaceTime call incoming and you double tap your fingers together, it will accept the call on the watch. If you have a timer that just ended, double tap, it'll stop the timer. All kinds of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. First of all, I got to try it in the hands-on area. They put a watch on my wrist and they said, go ahead and try it. And it worked very, very well in person on a watch I'd never worn before. So I thought that was super cool. I did notice that when you put it on, it just like worked immediately. Right away. Which like brings me back to, do you remember the... Um, was the LG phone with like oh, the no. hand waving over <laughs> that was the exact the opposite experience of like seven things? I think Q so. Yeah, something. it was at that that like penthouse in it New had York. The, it was uh, glucose, the, it was the like the vein ID. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, oh my god, I have so many videos. There, there's just, videos of just people like doing waving. this over the phone, like <laughs> just nothing mm. is working, and all the PR people at LG are just like, no, 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 just maybe a little more like this. Oh, yeah, huh, yeah. that's weird. It's not. Oh, this god. is like you put the watch on and. And it just worked. Yeah. I think this is one of those features that's shipping like a month after release or something. I think oh, you're really? right. Yeah. Oh. So maybe it's not perfect yet, but it's it available next month, they said. Mm. Yeah, you know, but okay. it worked pretty well for me. The other thing, interesting thing about that, though, um, is a lot of you might be typing already, so you can stop typing, <laughs> saying this isn't technically new. Yeah. This has existed as an accessibility feature in the Apple Watch for years. It's being moved, being graduated to a primary feature for everyone. 
for a couple of reasons i think the 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 one that stands out is this is also the selection mechanism for apple vision pro yep tapping your fingers together while looking at something on the screen selects what you're looking at yeah and i think if you get people used to that gesture early great yeah. i don't know what that means if you're wearing the watch and vision pro at the same time that might be kind of funny i don't know what happens that's interesting point. i mean <laughs> i think apple wants a lot of cohesiveness in how you For interact sure. with its devices of right pinch to zoom is like you you do that on the mac trackpad you everything. do that on the iphone you do it on everything hold like all their all their ways that you interact with their devices are the same so if they can start onloading people right now with the apple watch oh no i just realized what if they make a new mouse <laughs> pinch mouse. It's gonna have to be a pinch gesture. Well, they don't want to make a mouse because everything is just gonna be oh, floating. Sure. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair. Yeah. But the other interesting thing about, um, so yeah, so you've been able to do that, but this feature is not coming to older Apple Watches, and I found that kind of curious because Strange. it's in the accessibility settings. Yeah. Why isn't it also graduating to a primary feature? Apple says when asked about that, um, basically the new S9 system on a chip is fast enough that it's able to process all the information from those same sensors, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, the heart rate sensor, faster in a way that they're comfortable making it a primary gesture, where this Excel accessibility feature was not a primary gesture. It, maybe. it does yeah. seem better. Like I think um, Adam and Ellis had it pulled up on their watches when we got back. Doesn't work well. It's not. A, it's nowhere near as <laughs> Wait, good. What? Whoa, 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 no, no, whoa, whoa. no, no. I, I, was, I, I have yet to have I, it fail a single I, you time. You both really? have showed me, and it's failed no, both no, times. No, no, you no. guys have showed me. Text me right now. Text me right now. I'll prove it. I'll do it on I was camera. using it on my watch, and it was it was not. Doing I've only it very been using well. it to dismiss things. Yeah, Any same. other action kind of is. Give me like hit or miss, mm. but anytime I get a notification, and typically where I have to swipe down, hit the smith, do that whole thing, yeah, I could just double tap and it goes away. I will also cool. say the the fist clench detection oh, yeah, does not one. work as well as the yeah. tap yeah. detection. Okay. I think also, the idea though is it's it's like if you have something going on in your other hand, which happens sometimes. Like yeah. normally for me, the move is the nose. I don't know how many of you guys yeah, are doing I do that. Yeah. so much, dude. But like I do that all phone, the time when I'm like, keeping bees. In yeah. the event, no, it, in the event it was so funny how the when they were talking about it, they were like, yeah, if you're walking the dog or you're drinking coffee. And then in the cinematic, it was like a man handling a swarm of bees. <laughs> like, <laughs> way more extreme. I, the dog walk is a totally reasonable aspect yeah. for that. Like that's exactly what I thought. Like I've walking the dog the needing to, yeah. yeah. Or carrying um, something with the other hand. Groceries. There one, was one, one that Dismissing your alarm with double tap. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. so dangerous. Yeah, I'm just subconsciously I going to. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's going to be muscle memory. None of you guys are going to show up to work anymore because it's going to be noon and you're going to be like, I've been double tapping the snooze all morning. Yeah. <laughs> that is a dangerous one. I mean, so the, there is a, there's kind of a moment where you raise to wake, then it lights up, then you double tap. So if you're just like hand resting on the couch, double tap, that's not going to do anything. I think. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. Please come to work. <laughs> um, I did kind of like um, Siri plus health, where you can use oh, Siri right. to talk yes. about things like how where your move rings at and like yeah, yeah. how you slept last night, yeah. like logging data with your voice, I think was kind of cool, even though I haven't used uh, an Apple Watch. In, but yeah. like the workout stuff was my favorite part with it. On device Siri is on, a pretty big mm -hmm. deal. I think the on device stuff because of that made it really cool. It's so it working so much faster. Yeah, I forgot to mention the, the watch actually has more memory. I think it's double the memory built in now. So they're able to do all of Siri's queries on device. Yeah. And because it's doing everything on device and it's secure, of course you can enable more stuff like ask me about my own health data. It never has to go to the cloud. Because right yeah. now it does a round trip yeah. Whatever I think, whatever you ask it. Yeah. I have, obviously, if I ask the weather in Cupertino, it's going to look up the weather and bring it back down to you. But if I just want to know something like Locally. when's my next calendar event, something like that, yeah. Yeah. the fact that it could just sit there spinning, like your yeah. internet's not good enough to tell you what's on your phone, like yeah. that was kind of crazy. I think that's really big. Yeah. Like it, I think that's a huge quality of life upgrade. When Google added this to Google Assistant, it was huge because mm -hmm. they got way faster too. Yeah, it got way faster. I remember yeah. they did this like four years ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I remember they were like, we used machine learning to connect condense the machine learning model to be able to fit on your phone. What up, dog? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think they're, they're doing the same thing here, which is great. Um, Let's we'll just make you trip. guys use Siri more? No. No. I mean, the okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm editing the video right now where the, the line I have is like, Siri isn't good yet, but it, it'll be bad way faster. Yeah. Which is better, but not good yet. I think yet. it depends on what you use it for, right? Because I recently started getting a little bit integrated into the HomeKit ecosystem just to test it out at home because okay. I have these like matter enabled That's smart probably lines. the perfect thing for it to be better at. I think so. 
Yes, yeah. because I just ask it to turn on my lights or open my blinds, and those are pretty basic queries, but it's more of the like Googling things that it's bad well, at. That's why I think this will be good inside the health app though. Yes. Like I think this will work pretty well. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I had two more quick things. I had second gen ultra wide band, um, which oh, yeah. haptic plus audio feedback, trying to find your phone that's pretty as cool. someone who leaves my phone literally yeah. everywhere. That yeah. sounds awesome. They, on that note, mm -hmm. they also tripled, It's the second gen ultra wide band is has tripled the range. Oh really? So now you can um, you can start finding the thing three times further away than you could before. And if you use Find My Friends and you're like in a yes, market or something, I thought something, that was really cool. It's way easier to find people that you know. So if they have either an iPhone 15, which also has the second generation mm -hmm. UWB chip. Then, no, say that again. <laughs> the second generation UWB, UWB, UWB say that three times chip. Yeah, is. Yeah. Or an Apple Watch Series 9 or Ultra 2, mm -hmm. then you can sort of like navigate and find your people, which is which is really helpful. Yeah. yeah give it to your kid. <laughs> <laughs> find them anywhere. Find my child. And then the other thing I had, you talked about brightness, but also down to one nit for a dark room. Oh, I yeah. thought it was kind of cool. Just like the Apple Watch, are, I want to know the current number because it, it gets really dim it does. right now. Like one, if you're in a nighttime environment. Yeah. But one nit. Like how you, one nit is nice. There's so many times just in like in bed, no matter what like device I have, no matter how dark I put it, it mm -hmm. still feels like I'm being blinded by yeah. it. So like I'll take anything. 3,000 nits is down. brighter than the sun, so you're good. <laughs> It might be. <laughs> so that's that's the watches. Um, I think that's basically, I mean, the other interesting like background thing is, and we'll talk about sustainability. Do you want to talk about that now? I think we can or talk, that's where they, yeah. wait, wait, before though, mm -hmm. the they bands. showed some new watch bands. Yeah. The tan Nike silicone sports band with like yeah. the orange and brown dots. Do you know what those dots are? No. Dirt. <laughs> ground up recycled other bands that's no cool. way yeah it looks cool i don't care what it is it looks sick <laughs>